Hello everybody, the Run Red Panda here, and welcome back to another episode of well, Let's Play 4, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D. In the last episode, we finished off the Fire Temple, and uh, yeah, that's basically all we did. We got to do the rest of the fire, fire Temple, and now we are going to do another like really annoying like side quest. It's not as bad as like the Poke Ching thing, in my opinion, but it is pretty tedious, and it is really helpful when you get this like really powerful sword. And it's basically just like the, the Goron side quest that we are doing now. And I technically could have done it even like as soon as I became adult, like even before getting doing the fire the forest temple. But if you like went up like the volcano as an adult, then, like you would have to like go through all like, the boulders and. This might have not been a huge issue, but it kind of might have waste, wasted a little bit of time. So if you do it now, then like there won't be any boulders falling from the volcano, at least I'm pretty sure there isn't. So this is an easier time to do it. So let us talk to this girl. I, I, like her name is Andrew in the door I'm not sure if it's still Andrew in the game. Uh, so let's talk to her. I brought a new type of miniature cuckoo. I call it the pocket cuckoo. I, I, I don't get goosebumps from, from this baby. Cuckoos are very good at getting lazy. Lay Razor is out of bed. But haven't you heard of them before? It makes them very happy to grow. Cuckoo! He's, especially when it makes, makes up a very heavy, heavy sleeper. However, my cuckoo is not entirely happy right now. You look like you're good at handling cuckoos. Here, take this egg. After the cuckoo hatches, bring it back to me after a while, and I'll check out its mood. What do you think? Will you try? Alright, I guess. They borrowed a pocket egg. Pocket Cuckoo will hatch from it overnight. Be sure to get back to you when you're done with it. Alright, so now we are going to play the Sun Song twice. So that'll, so that'll go through a whole day. Oh, what? Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> we just have to play Sun Song, Sun Song twice, so one more time now. Look, the cuckoo hatched from the egg. You were incubated. It's a miracle of life. It truly is. And now we are going to go to this house. And there's this, uh, remember this guy? This is Talon. And we need to equip our... Our, our chicken, and let's give it to him like we did in the very beginning. What incarnation? Can't let us get a little shut eye around here. Yeah, yeah, but you just saw all you had to do was wake him up. That's all you had to do. And now we have to get the, well, like the cuckoo that, that hatched. Oh, your cuckoo looks very pretty happy. He must have been an, ex an extremely lazy, lazy guy. You're a good cuckoo -coo -coo keeper. I'll give you a rare, valuable cuckoo if you're interested. His name is Kohiro, and he used to be my brother's cuckoo. His blue body is quite charming. It's so cute. So my brother is gone. It's strange, but Co -co -co Kohiro has stopped crying. You want to keep Kohiro? Yes, I do. Return to the pocket cuckoo and got Kohiro in it. Turn. Unlike other cuckoos, the Kohiro re really grows. I think there's some weird texture issue there. Yeah, emulators aren't perfect with textures sometimes, but at least on the menu, it, it looks normal. So where we need to go get next with this Kohiro is like very popular in those plays for one one let's play in particular. This Kokiro is very popular. I won't name any names, but yeah. So we're going to go back to Lost with the Lost Woods because there's someone there we need to give this to. So yeah, just going to Lost Woods. I want to make this like really just side quest really helpful. If you haven't got an opponent, opponent yet, you need to get him now. Cause just rolling and like running you know, over to your like, cause there will be like time things that you have to do to get to places really fast. 
Well, I'm just gonna actually position the opponent so that I don't have to turn them around once we have to leave. So yeah, you just, it, it's really required to get an opponent now if you haven't gotten him yet. I mean, most people still get like an opponent like as soon as you kind of gold. Alright, so to the left here, we have the Lost Woods, and there's this weird guy, and let's give him Kohiro. Kohiro, why? Normally a nice, only a nice guy like me can tame you. Which means, you, you must be a nice guy. Please, you must be. Please, Mr. Nice Guy, please. Deliver like this to the old hag in the potion shop in Kakariko Village. This will disappear if you take too long, so you gotta hurry. Right, this is a, our first time mission. We got an ongoing mu mushroom. A fresh mushroom like this is sure to spoil qu quickly. Okay. Oh gosh. Uh, so we have three minutes, and if you put the magic bean here, you can quickly get to the you know, not even have to go through Kokiri Forest. So yeah, just... Like, that, that saves like at least like 20 or 30 seconds. I'm not exactly sure though, but... Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go. Ah, oh, dang it. I really hope I hate it when the opponent stops. Okay, we have like... I think more than enough time to get this done. Off and I'll show you like where like this shop that you need to go to to turn in the mushroom. So yeah, two minutes we definitely have more than enough time. If you're doing this blind, it might be kind of like annoying to try to find where to go and not run out of time. So I know it's hard, kind of hard doing this like, the first time. But you need to go into this shop, potion shop. Are you serious? It's closed until morning? Oh my gosh! That is another really annoying thing about this. Okay! You can play Sun Sun Song. I didn't know about this. You can play Sun Song. And it would still look some of the exact site, but these time missions will still keep happening. So I, I kind of freaked out there for a second. But some shops are obviously closed at night. But you need to go in here. And I think in the 64 version, if you played Sun Song or, or Past Time in any way. You would uh, you'd have to start over. I don't know if they s if they switch that in the, in the 3DS version. But yeah, we need to give this lady the. Oh, I, I guess sometimes you have to do it again. There we go. You have to do it twice for some reason. That fool. He had to go into the forest. I see. Hey, hey, give it to me now. See that fool, give this to him. It is the strongest medicine I, I've ever produced. However, this poltice, I don't know how to say that, will we'll not work on a monster. Speak odd po poltice, alright. They say that there is no medicine that can cure a few fool, I guess that's true. Alright. Thankfully, this, this part isn't timed, so you can take your, as much time as you need to. <laughs> Yeah, just to save time on this, on this what, was once I get to the opponent, I'm actually going to cut until I get back to Lost Woods, because we don't need to worry about any time here. 
Alright, so now I'm gonna meet you guys back at the Lost Woods. Alright guys, I'm back here at the Lost Woods, and we are going to give this thing here to, like, what's, the, the guy that I was, that, that gave me the mushroom for isn't here, so... Guess we have to give this thing to her? The guy isn't here anymore, except for the Kokiri. People who come into the forest end up lost. They all become Stalfos. That's why he's not here anymore. Only his saw is left. He... The medicine is made of the forest mushrooms. Give it back! We return to the odd po pol poltice and got the poacher's saw. The young punk guys must have left the, the, this behind. Alright. <laughs> Are you going to become one too? Hehe. <laughs> that is like the only weird... Creepy Kokiri person that I know I see. Everyone else is broken. I have no idea why. I'm just gonna use this like this little bat just to skip the Kokiri forest. Again, even though I did really need to. Just to save time. And now we're, it's not quite clear where we need to go, but well obviously I think I think in the 64 version version they didn't give you like markers on where to go, but I like it's showing the 3D or 3DS version. It actually, if you look at the map, it actually shows you where to go. And you need to go to the Brutal Valley. I, I think I thought that was a pretty cool thing for like for anybody who's never played this game at all before in our previous on the 3DS. The first time, this side quest isn't actually too bad for them. But I'm pretty sure it was a pain for people but playing this like back in the day. Thankfully, I, I, I was playing this I, the first time I played this. Walkthroughs were available, so I was able to... If I, need, if I needed to look up a guide, I was able to. Alright, I, I never actually showed this before. But there's like a bridge that's out. So we have to like get jump over it, Ikona. Up. This is what I hate about riding on a pony. Always stops. There we go. That's like a really cool shot. And actually, there is a couple sculptures that you can get. Yep, there is one right here. I just want to get these real quick so before it turns into daytime. I have to really hurry. Oh, it's right. Oh my gosh, are you serious? I'm just gonna make it. And as much as I love the Gerudo Valley music, I'm just gonna make it nighttime just so I can get this one sculpture. Alright, there we go. Now I can finally get it. And I wanna see if there is just a chest. I'm pretty sure it has rupees in it, so I'm not even gonna bother. I just wanted to see what it was Let's not waste any time and let's give this guy, this is the guy that we need to give the poacher saw to. Hey, that saw, it's mine! But I thought I left it, that saw with my old lady. Oh well. My big horn tool bro broke out, so I was going to, to Goron City to get it repaired. You've come here, it's great timing. Will you give me my saw? Yes, I will. Good kid. Thanks, I'm sorry that I can't give you something as good in return, but take this anyways. And God traded the poacher saw for a broken Goron sword. Visit Goron to get it repaired. Alright, so you can ob obviously guess where that is, so we are going to go back to Goron, like Death Mountain Trail. Come on. At least you don't have to like do like a running jump, like you have to like walk away and you will still be able to jump across. So yeah, just like this is like the first time actually going to Death Mountain Trail. 
any side quests, so I'm not gonna cut until I get there. Just with, like, riding an opponent, it's, like, so fast. There's no point to. Song of Storms next to this kind of like this thing that Navi moves to. Uh, and unfortunately, I have to go through this whole thing with just like a quarter part. Of like it's really gonna bother me. Please tell me there's health in here. Yes, there is. Okay. My swift my sliver the sliver of my health is saved. Okay. Um, I'm going to make it nighttime again because there is another sculpture that you can get here as an adult. Pretty sure it's yep. You can see it right there. Unfortunately, I have to get rid of these skull shells and uh, climb up this whole way. Good thing we don't have to take care of that, that uh, tech knight. I don't need those sticky ones. Crap. Didn't know there was like they added that like, skull shell in there. It just like moved that sculpture. It was like kind of further away. Alright, that's a one huge Goron. Well, let's give him the broken sword. Oh, that broken knife is mo surely my work. I really want to repair it, but 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 because of my ye of yesterday's eruption, my eyes are ir irritated. These there are my there are finally eye drops in Zora's domain. You will find them if you go to see King Zora. Please go get the eye drops. All right, so you checked in. Broken Goron Sword and received a prescription. Go see King Sora. Alright, so that's. I think that's gonna take a longer time to. 
go to this. We don't have like the warping. Thing, so. Now I'm just going to. It's going to take you long to actually walk over. So this time I am going to cut until Zora's still moving. So I will be right back. Alright guys, I am back here, at next, close to the Zora's Domain, because th there is another Skullshilla, if you jump up here to the, to like the fence, and you go look up, there is a Skullshilla that you can get. Are you serious? Oh no! Come on! I wasn't able to hook shot it. Seriously? Uh. There we go, finally. I just wasn't like close enough to reach it and <laughs> uh, I, I was so close to like not being able to get it because it was almost turn turn daytime. All right, now unfortunately we have to play the Zelda's Lullaby. To part the waterfall. Didn't mean to talk to that. Oh, dang it, I did it. Uh. Seriously? Come on, we have to play it again. Of course we do, because I I missed the jump and now I have to play it again. We can now we finally made it inside. And uh we're here at Zora's Domain and everything looks pretty different. It's like all frozen. I'm actually going to not turn in what I got to oh wait. Well crap. I guess we're gonna have to do something that I didn't think we could- I forgot about that, that the king was frozen. Oh wait, it has to be nighttime here. I should've just thought to do that right away. Yeah, so I guess we can't continue completely with the uh, cyclist until we have like unfrozen the king. Which is unfortunate, but oh well. Alright. So if you look closely to the left, there is another social class. Okay, so we're just gonna have to do this, like, this is, like, we're gonna go to, like, the, the, the not, like, a side thing. Didn't need to jump off there. So we are going back into Zora's fountain, and the fish, the big fish isn't here anymore, so... We have to go on this ice. And of course, I didn't make it. But we, some of these like ices we can still climb on. Can we? No, we can't, so we're going to have to go all the way back up. Some of these ice platforms are, are low enough that you will be able to climb back on them in case you fall. Yeah, they're very slippery, so be careful. 
At least, like, we have to wait for one of these moving ice platforms. Are you serious? Okay, at least you can- yeah, this is one of the platforms that you can climb back onto. Yep, looks like we're gonna keep getting a, a heart piece. And there we go! Dogs are really annoying. Right now I have to go this way. Come on. I'm just going to the beginning. Finally made it. All right, so we are here in the ice cavern. It's just like kind of like a mini dungeon. It's not an actual dungeon. Well, technically, it is, but so many. All right, there's these like these ice ice guys that we have to take out. Thank you for giving me a health at least. Oh, of course I got frozen. And there we go, taking out all those three ice guys opens up the way for us. Okay. And now I have to collect all collect all these like silver rupees. It's like the first instance of like of this kind of puzzle. And there is a Skulchula up here for us. We're really getting all the Skulchulas, aren't we? No, we need we need to climb up here and I think. Yeah, there is a silver rupee that we have to jump, jump, jump to get it. That opens that up. We try not to get hit again. Uh, of course, but of course I did. Now we are here in this next room. Oh, ice keys! If there's nothing worse than I hate than fire keys, it's ice keys! Oh my gosh! They're so annoying! Blue fire, it doesn't seem natural. Maybe you can use it for something, but how could you carry it? Or you know what? Oh, uh, well, okay. where is it? Where is he? Oh, come on! There we go! Finally took at least one of them out. Alright, so I'm going to need to equip all four of my empty bottles. We're going to put this blue fire in the empty bottles. Put the blue fire into the bottle. Put this one in. And throw this one in. 
All right, guys. So I'm going to need to like end off this episode and finish this mini dungeon in the next part, guys. So if you like this part, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Leave a like and post a comment about what you thought of the video. And I'll see you guys next time for more of my Let's Play for The Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time 3D. Have a wonderful day, guys, and peace out.